Echocardiography is now not restricted to the echocardiographic laboratory. It is used in the emergency department, at the bedside, in the intensive care unit, as well as in the operating room. Hence, a basic knowledge is needed for all physicians and paramedics. During echocardiography, a transducer transmits the ultrasound beam towards the heart. Echoes received by the transducer from various structures of the heart are analyzed by the echocardiograph and a graphical representation displayed on the monitor. Location of the transducer is at the top of the image sector. Structures nearer to the transducer are shown at the top of the image and those away from the transducer at the bottom of the image. The image shown here is an animated two-dimensional echocardiogram. This one is an older mode known as time motion mode or M-mode echocardiogram. Unlike the previous two-dimensional imaging, this is a single dimensional imaging. Movement of the structures along a single scan line are depicted as a horizontal graph. Though it is the oldest mode of echocardiography, it is still being used for taking measurements of the left ventricle. Doppler echocardiography uses the Doppler principle and targets the moving red blood cells. The velocity at each point is depicted as a spectral tracing. In pulse Doppler, intermittent pulses are sent and echoes received. In continuous wave Doppler, the signals are sent and received continuously. Flow away from the transducer is depicted below the baseline and those towards the transducer are depicted above the baseline. When the velocity is beyond the limit of the Doppler mode used, the upper part is cut off as can be seen above the baseline in this case. The remaining part is shown below the baseline. This is known as aliasing and wraparound. The direction of flow is difficult to interpret then. In such situations, continuous wave Doppler with higher velocity range is used. An intermediate option is HPRF or high pulse repetition Doppler. Disadvantage of continuous wave is that it cannot pinpoint the exact location of the high velocity signal as it is continuously transmitting and receiving.